Imagine a world where robots don't just assist but revolutionize the way we build. That future is closer than you think. Meet Atlas, Boston Dynamics all-electric humanoid robot, and it's about to take the automotive world by storm. This isn't your average robot. Atlas is a powerhouse, capable of running, crawling, cartwheeling, yes, cartwheeling. And now, it's gearing up to hit the factory floor at Hyundai's cutting-edge meta plant in Georgia. Later this year, Atlas will start trial operations, sorting car parts and tackling heavy loads with ease. Scott Quindersma, Boston Dynamics Senior Director of Robotics Research, is buzzing with excitement. Like once we realized that the, we could design our own motors that would get us into in the ballpark of you know elite athletes with a, a humanoid, uh, that made it pretty exciting for us. And you might ask, well, why do we need to build elite athlete humanoids? And it's a very fair question. Um, and we think that the, a lot of the, the jobs that you might want a humanoid to actually do are the kind of jobs where it's in basically backbreaking labor for a person to do. Um, these are these are really challenging, ergonomically um, unfit tasks that we ask people to do or need people to do right now. Um, and we think that robots will be much better suited for those. So if you build a robot that is not only able to walk around and move two hands around in space, but it can, if needed, pick up a heavy load and move it around and do that for long durations of time, um, that, that'll just be strictly more valuable. And what it can do is jaw dropping. From backbreaking tasks to precision maneuvers, Atlas is designed to handle the jobs humans shouldn't have to. Think of it as the ultimate coworker, strong, tireless, and ready to make factories safer and more efficient. What makes Atlas so special? It's not just its custom designed motors that give it the athletic prowess of an elite gymnast. It's the brain behind the brawn. With advancements in AI, Atlas is on the cusp of a game-changing leap in physical intelligence. Quindersma puts it best. So figuring out how to bridge that gap so that we can take some of the smart reasoning, generalization capabilities of, you know, VLMs and things like this that are um, making their way into everyone's lives and apply that to physical intelligence on robots is sort of where the big research questions are. And if we do make progress in that in the next couple of years, that could be a real game changer. But it's not all smooth sailing. Supply chain hurdles, like China's recent restrictions on rare earth materials, are throwing curveballs at battery production. These minerals are critical for everything from robots to your smartphone. Quindersma's hopeful for a quick fix, but for now, it's a challenge Boston Dynamics is navigating with grit. While Atlas is making waves in factories, the dream of humanoid robots in our homes is still a distant star. Safety and complexity mean it's a long road ahead, but for now, Hyundai's betting big on Atlas to transform manufacturing. And they're not alone, Tesla's Optimus and Figure AI's Figure Zero 2 are also stepping into the industrial spotlight. As Atlas takes its first steps onto the factory floor, one thing's clear, the age of humanoid robots is here, and it's moving fast. Will Atlas redefine how we build the future? Stick around, because this is just the beginning. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more tech breakthroughs. So we have plans for later this year, um, putting Atlas into um, a Hyundai facility in the United States, uh, just as a way to, you know, really prove out the current capabilities of the robot in the, in the real context of the tasks that we care about solving over the next several years. Um, so that's an important part of the development. But I also think that the the development horizons for humanoids are, are going to be relatively long. Um, certainly, you know, things like the rare earth um, materials um, ban and things like this are, are quite going to be quite challenging if you want to, you know, assemble batteries and things like this, right? So um, it, it's certainly the case that we won't be immune to uh, any of these issues. And so we're hoping that we come to some uh, fast resolution <laughs> so that we don't have to uh, continue to navigate it.
but we really designed it to be a very high performance machine. And so we're interested in, again, being able to explore the very frontier of what's physically possible in humanoids. And everything, all the infrastructure they've built around doing that, I think is a real accelerant that shows itself through the performance of Atlas already. It's capable of all of the agility that HD Atlas had, but probably even more than HD Atlas. The core reason people are so interested in humanoid robots today is the promise of a truly flexible robotic solution that can switch between tasks and applications in a way that we just haven't seen before in robotics. We all expect that the inevitable future is that robots, maybe not exactly like Atlas, but um, with the, the, the kind of capabilities that Atlas has, will be in our homes uh, at some point. We expect that that's a pretty long horizon because I think the performance requirements for such systems are going to be quite high. There's real safety considerations there. And then there's just a lot of um, uh, generalization probably required to actually perform tasks well in the home. Um, and so I think that's inevitable. It's, it's not what we're betting on for short term.